there was a huge water spout in Saudi Arabia just off the coast in the Red Sea in Rabi, which is about an hour and a half north of Jeddah, maybe two hours, because it's a, it's a little bit north of Thuwal, which is where Kaust is. Did you in see this? Rabi, I think is how you Rabe. pronounce it. Rabi, yeah. okay. Thank you, yeah. as always. You know what? I just you know, I should go with my second guess always. My first guess is never <laughs> correct. But did it's you okay. see this thing? Or like videos I of it or a photo I actually missed it? it. No, tell me why. You missed the tornado? Okay, so tornadoes are are uh, on land and water spouts, of course, are on the water. Saudi Arabia had a huge one. Um, like not USA big because like, you know, it's kind of like the, the varsity level of tornadoes. Actually, this is something that I learned when looking into this. America has 80% of all of the world's tornadoes. It's not like a great number one to have around your neck, but that's where we are. And essentially, yeah, there was a, a there's a video of it. There's a photo of it. There was a huge water spout in the Red Sea, and it actually came really close to land. And, and authorities say that it did touch land. So, yeah, I mean, like they come in all shapes and sizes and they're incredibly difficult to predict. So other countries also experience tornadoes and water spouts. Right. But a lot of them happen in the U.S. So even in the U.S., predicting them is hard, and it, they're getting kind of good at it. Like, they'll have tornado watches and warnings. But out to sea, it's kind of, like, harder harder to predict. There is a ton of really bad weather over Saudi Arabia. We have some really bad rains here in Riyadh. And then Jeddah and on the Red Sea coast, there have been a t- really bad storms in recent days. Yeah, so... This one, they didn't they didn't put this out, but like I looked at the wind speed that they estimated for the tornado for the water spout, and it was 150 kilometers an hour, which is enough to endanger boats and coastal structures. They are also super rare. They're super rare to see, right? Because people don't live near them. They happen out at sea. There are a ton in Florida, of course. So if you want to look at what they look like, and even like if you want to Google like boat goes through water spout, it's kind of interesting because that seems like it would be tremendously unpleasant. But these tornadoes, and and they're the same thing, they're ranked on the enhanced Fujita scale, EF0 to EF5, for anybody who's seen Twister. And uh, F5 is truly devastating, and and it's really awful when those happen because they just wipe everything out. Um, This ranked in the EF1 scale for strength of water spout, But what's really cool is just like how rare these are and how rare it is to get a photo of them even and that it happened off of the coast of Saudi Arabia. And so they have pledged to study it and kind of review some data that they got from it. So there's a new twister. I don't know if you saw the new twister. I haven't seen it, but my kids saw it and they actually really liked it. But I do remember twister. I don't remember EF as the measurement for strength of tornadoes. Um, but anyway, in for this story, like authorities in Mecca region, including Jeddah and Rabagh, issued several warnings. And um, the NCM predicted more heavy rainfall, hailstorms, thunderstorms, strong winds, increasing risk of floods in the region. So, I mean, I, I didn't see it mostly because I've just been traveling and I have been a little bit off the grid. But it is kind of, it's, it's really terrifying if people aren't used to this kind of thing to experience. Experience it. So I have not seen the. Okay, so I actually have seen the second twister a okay. few days ago on the flight here, but I was it was muted and I was listening to something else. So I didn't. I watched it, but I didn't get the movie. Like I just was like, oh, maybe I'll see some like cool visuals because that was what was so cool about the original twister was like how real it looked. Visuals, I remember seeing yeah. it for the first time when I was much younger, of course. Um, but yeah, they're terrifying, and if you're because nobody sees them here and because they're super rare on the water, if you do see one, it is not something to be trifled with. Definitely turn the boat around. And generally in Saudi Arabia now, since there's a lot of rain happening all over, if you are if you see a place where you can't really see the bottom and you don't know the road very well, turn around, don't drown, because many people die like that in the U.S. Uh, every year from flooding. So, yeah, it's a wet. We, we've been talking a lot about weather like this is a weather kind of podcast a little bit. I don't know, maybe, but this is interesting. I, and I, I, you know, yeah. What were we going to say? I don't know that we're a weather podcast so much as it's just a sign of the times that we're living in. And there are a lot of uh, more extreme weather and pat- weather patterns that are affecting our day to day. So, you know, including massive wildfires that have just <coughs> climate been change. So <laughs> uh, tragically 
<laughs> damaging and destroying LA right now. So if anybody is in LA, uh, you know, um, sending uh, worth, worth ma- thoughts, many, many yeah. well wishes. Yeah. Well wishes. It's terrifying. Yeah. Um, terrifying. Terrifying.